race war on the horizon, white supremacist police supported by the United States government. If you're a black man, and if you don't have a gun, your ass is dumb. Hold on just a second. Listen to more of what they got in in store for you. Hold on. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Here we go. Wipe black people off the map and that he would. Hold up, hold up. Let's take it all the way back. Police department audit of video recordings uh, captured the officers saying pretty evil uh, and racist things, including uh, one of them hoping that there would be a new civil war to, quote, wipe black people off the map and that he was ready to be part of that civil war. So the Wilmington Police Department um, in North Carolina took the action against Corporal Jesse Moore and officers Kevin Piner and Brian Gilmore. Each was accused of violating standards of conduct, criticism and use of inappropriate jokes and slurs. So how were these recordings discovered? Well, a sergeant was conducting a video audit, as I mentioned earlier, as part of a monthly inspection that was reviewing footage from Piner's car that had been classified as accidental activation. After the sergeant listed, uh, or I'm sorry, listened to to the conversation and determined comments made by Piner and Moore were extremely racist, she contacted the department administrator for the camera system. Now, I'm going to go to the details of, of what was said in, in these recordings. Piner, in one of them, uh, told Moore that he feels a civil war is coming and that he is ready. Piner said that he was going to buy an assault rifle and soon, quote, we are just going to go out and start slaughtering them. Um, and then he used uh, an expletive uh, to refer to black people. I can't wait. God, I can't wait. Moore responded uh, that he wouldn't do that. Piner told Moore that he felt a civil war was needed to wipe them off the effing map. That'll put them back about four or five generations. Moore told Piner he was crazy, and the recording stopped a short time later. Gilmore, hired by the department in 1997, said that whites were now worshipping blacks, adding he'd seen a video of a fine-looking white girl and his little punk pretty boy bowing down and kissing their toes. The two then complained about black officers on the force, calling one a piece of expletive, and then complaining that another was sitting on his ass during the protests. Let's see how his boys take care of him when things get rough. See if they don't put a bullet in his head. Uh, I mean, just the most hideous, horrendous uh, rhetoric uh, and, and racism displayed in, in these recordings. So they've been fired. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, all three of them say we're not, not racist. Okay, so they're stressed out, Jenk. They say that they're stressed out, that the protests have stressed them out. You know, uh, this job is, is stressful, right? I mean, there are definitely days like today, for instance, where you come across stories like watching Elijah um, um, McLean in Colorado get murdered by three cops, right? And it's stressful, but I don't have a reaction where I want to go out and, and start shooting and slaughtering people. Right. I don't I don't have that kind of commentary or that kind of urge. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So what I actually think that part is telling, too. Um, so uh, remember that this is 46 minutes that they randomly caught. Uh, and so it, you think they're not saying this if they had caught another 46 minutes? You think others aren't saying this uh, more? says, oh, no, no, I, I see, I said that's crazy to Piner or that we shouldn't kill all African Americans, and so I'm not racist. You know what else Moore said? Uh, he, he said uh, that a, a black judge was an effing Negro magistrate and that a black defendant that he had arrested, this woman, should, quote, uh, let's see how this, uh, sorry, um, she needed a bullet in her head right then and move on. Let's put, put the body out of the way and keep going. OK, so that's the guy who says, no, I'm the least racist of the bunch. OK, so the reason they say they're stressed out is because they can't do these things anymore. We can't set black people back four or five generations anymore. We can't just shoot them in the head and move on anymore. I'm so stressed out. Defund all the police. Defund them, defund them, defund them. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges.
Okay, that was a clip from the Young Turks. And you can see there's a such thing as persistency over time. We have thrived and survived the worst of their racism. They're pretty much on their way out. The average white person in America is somewhere between 44 and 46 years old. That's 15 to 18 years older. To tell you the truth, that's way too old. Your average person needs to be an age that is generally a age of reproduction. You know, 20s, early 30s. Whenever your average person is damn near 50, you're dead. You're dead. It's just a matter of letting the, letting the, uh, letting the wheels, uh, better yet, the hands rotate around the clock. That's it. That's all. You're dead. You know, and in their state of death, they're going to lash out as many times as they can. And, and and say all of these things. But I will honestly say that they do not have a justification for racism other than I just hate people who are of a different phenotype than me. And black people are of the most distant phenotype from me. That is the reason why I hate them. There's dumbass and white people. There's poor white people. There's ignorant white people. There's loud white people, you know. Uh But there's nothing that they can associate with so-called black people that doesn't. That isn't in some shape or way a characteristic of at least some groups of white people. And they can twist statistics and whatever the hell. I mean, if 6% of the population is committing 50% of the crime, the only thing that I'll say is that that 6% has historically have to live around people like you. So what makes you think that they would ever be subject to the type of economics to where they wouldn't have to commit crime? Get your black ass, get, get your stinking ass up out of here. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Um, you heard it yourself. These people are all in government and uh, they get paid with your and my tax money. Damn, I'm out.